Welcome to YouTube to a new video on how to build your second brain. Have you started building your second brain but failed to work on it consistently? In this video, I'll share a couple of tips on how to create a routine and make your knowledge management much easier and more consistent. One thing I struggled with uh, when starting out with my second brain was how I approached tending to my knowledge management system. There are multiple things you can be working on simultaneously and figuring out where to start uh, can be counterproductive sometimes. And one of the reasons I created a habit uh, to tending to my knowledge system is to avoid what's called the collector's fallacy. That's basically collecting notes and highlights and not really processing them in any way. Piling up a bunch of web clips, notes and book highlight might feel productive, but it's not going to contribute to your knowledge in any meaningful way. So making a habit of going through your fleeting notes, literature notes, book highlights, and actually doing the work of creating the permanent notes is crucial for the system to work effectively. Once you get over the initial excitement of starting your second brain, tending to it can feel a little overwhelming. In this video, I'll share a couple of tips on how to make a system that will make the process a little less daunting and even sometimes satisfying. Let's jump right in. I want to keep my process as simple as possible to make forming the habit easier. This means removing any friction in tending to your notes uh, with a simplified process. And this is where automation comes in. Automating what can be automated is one of the principles that I've implemented in many areas of my life. Knowledge management is no exception to this. I've managed to do this using a combination of Readwise integrations, Snipped, and Notion databases. So Readwise exports all my highlights, saved tweets, articles, and notes into one Notion table. I converted the table to a Kanban style board and then simply just drag and drop what I'm working on to the doing column. Once it's processed, I move it to done. This helps me jump right back into what I was working on. I really love how all my captured content is synced into one place. It also helps me keep these separate from my knowledge management system. If you want the process to stay in your knowledge management tool, you can use hashtags to tag the notes with, for example, hashtag doing, which I use on notes that I was currently working on. You can then, for example, query the hashtag doing or hashtag to do and add the queries to the journal view or then create a separate page for your task list. It's also good to keep it as simple as possible. I created a page with a key that shows the different tags I use in the workflow. That's it, I found the Readwise Notion workflow free from clutter and much easier to use. So there are many ways of doing this, so find the way that best fits your workflow. If you want a quick start guide on how to get started on your second brain, check out the video in the top right corner. Next, I'll show you how to actually create the habit. In the book Atomic Habits, the author James Clear describes an easy method for creating habits. Stacking the grooming habit with other routines or habits you have during the day will make creating the new habit easier. Determine a time and a place, something like, after brushing my teeth I'll go to my desk and I'll tend to my knowledge garden. Another tip is to focus on the easiest task first to get your juices flowing. I usually start by either going through my fleeting notes or highlighting my book highlights in Notion. There is evidence that it takes about 5 to 10 minutes to really get into a focused mode. Keeping a task or to-do list on what you're working on next might make the process feel a bit like a chore. When you create a routine, however, tending to your PKM will get easier with time. That said, create a system that works for you. The short knowledge cycle is basically setting a limit to the time we spend researching and then spend time creating our literature notes and permanent notes out of what was researched. Thus, we are capturing and processing the ideas in the research in one sitting. This is in contrast to collecting large quantities of research material and trying to swim through it before creating any insights in our knowledge system. This ensures that our stacks of highlights don't get too overwhelming. So here are a few tools for your knowledge management toolbox. I admittedly use a mix of these uh, depending on what I'm working on. And building a habit to tending to your knowledge garden will get easier with repetition and consistency. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to go more in depth into my Notion automation setup. I hope you found the information in this video useful and you have a couple more tools to building your second brain. If you liked the video, click like. If you loved it, subscribe. Thanks for sticking through to the end. See you in the next one. Bye.